Hi Aquarius, welcome to Omkara Tarot and to your you and yours reading for July. Oh God, months are passing by so fast, you've kind of lost track of day, date and time now. So you and yours Aquarius is basically you and anyone else who's affecting your energy at this time. Uh, could be your parents, could be your child, could be your neighbor, could be a love interest. Whoever is uh, uppermost in your mind or affecting your energy at this time. So we'll see how what, what's happening and how to deal with it, okay? So let's begin here. Dear God, Goddesses, Angels, Spirit Guides, please bless this reading for Aquarius and send us the message they need to hear the most at this time. Thank you. So Aquarius, here we are, ready to go. Please know these are general collective readings, will not resonate with each and every one of you, okay? So take what works for you and leave the rest. Also a big thank you to all my subscribers. Why do I always do that? Thank you to all my subscribers for your lovely comments and for just being there for me. It's, uh, it's heartwarming. And if you're new here, uh, please join our little family of Omkara. And as people are asking me, what, what does Omkara mean? Omkara is basically Lord Ganesha, Indian deity, uh, god of happiness, prosperity and good luck. Uh, it's just another name for Lord Ganesha. And I hope all of you have that in your life. Oops, and why is the devil here, Aquarius? Just when I'm taking the name of Aumkara. Let's see what these addictions are, what, what you're going through, and who is this person? The Judgment. Okay, that's a good card. Six of Swords, very good. Queen of Cups, Hanged Men, Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. For Person 2, okay, uh, Aquarius, Person 1, Person 2, okay, you decide which side you resonate best with. Chariot, Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Death in Reverse, and the page of cups so let's begin with person a some new beginning uh, person a was going towards wanted a restart new beginning uh, probably was in uh, not a very good place in a, you know in the past and is now looking for yeah looking they're maybe going back to someone from their past um, too wrapped up, too wrapped up in past energies, but trying to now take control of their life, trying to have a new beginning, trying to have a new start, um, moving a away from anything that was troubling. Or maybe, yeah, this is a fresh new beginning, uh, looking ahead with total positivity, leaving all the troubled waters behind, leaving anything that was, you know, unhappy or um, just moving on in life for a brand new beginning. Something happened where, you know, this uh, person didn't find the love that they were looking for, maybe. Uh, Knight of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords. Okay, so somebody walked away from this Knight of Swords. This is a Knight, uh, this is, sorry, a King of Swords. Uh, this is a very bitter person, can use very harsh words, is angry, um, not, is more trouble than worth actually. And somebody has lost their passion and their love for that person, probably leaving this person behind and now wanting to move ahead to a to fresh pastures basically this person person a has been stuck for a very long time with this uh, king of swords and they've been thinking and thinking and thinking and you know of all the heartbreak this uh, king has king of swords has caused them uh, this is not the nicest character in the world because the, these two cards came out together knight of wands and the king of swords in reverse both are in reverse so this is not a person who you who can be trusted at all so this Queen of Cups has now lost her passion or her love for this King of Swords and is now planning to move on to happier times. Totally focused. She's, she's taken control back of her life and now trying to move ahead to, you know, uh, 
something much much more prosperous been stuck for a very long time is looking for something which you know can give her equal give and take now yeah wants victory now wants victory uh, wants to be recognized for who this person is wants a balanced uh, life or ba- balanced maybe relationship and uh, maybe tired of being single as well this knight of wands maybe made too many promises and just upset and hurt her all the time but this person a is now wanting to come out of this feeling of feeling abandoned all the time feeling uh, hurt all the time feeling they you know the lack mentality basically never having enough of uh, love and affection or um, stability and very desperate now to move on to happier times too many cards anything else spirit for uh, person a yeah say that there, there was uh, yeah this left you feeling very bitter didn't it we left you feeling very very bitter whoever is the feminine energy i say, i think is on the left side she is the one who's lost her love for this uh, relationship and now this she, you also become really bitter and angry because someone played around with the stability of your life and kept you stuck in this place for a very long time did not put in any work did not put in any work to make this you know an equal partnership where you know you know there's equal give and take um happiness joy and this was very 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 troubling for you uh, person a whoever you are this was a very troubling time for you and uh, now you want to move away you want to move away you want to take this boat and row 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 the boat and just get out and go to some place which can give you some happiness Let's see person two. Who's this? Okay, no wonder this devil was here. Remember the first, the bottom of the deck we had this devil. So this person really kept you chained for a very long time. But you're getting out of heartbreak. It seems you are now releasing this uh, devilish, uh, toxic energy that you've had for a very long time. Now this could be anyone, uh, Aquarius. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. It doesn't have to be a love interest. It could be. a relative could be a boss could be anyone so you have to decide who we are dealing with here okay uh the your your love readings aquarius which are purely on love have just been uploaded uh that is just for you and your love interest i will leave a link for you end of this uh, video as well so this could be that person or could be somebody else so let's see now this person um, person b is looking forward to a you know wants to charge ahead they know that they there has been some sneaky lying behavior they have uh, you know snuck away and they have not brought balance they they are uh, they know all this they know all, all all what has happened yet they wanted to move ahead in some manner and they want to leave behind get over all this heart heartbreak and pain and whatever you know cups uh, have been spilled on the ground and uh, let's take one card for the seven of swords spirit what is the seven of swords for person b no, did never showed you any love okay whenever did anything wrong never apologized was always sneaky always uh, nothing to be honest i mean i'm not very impressed with this person i'm sorry aquarius i hope this is not you but side two it showed that this person was not doing the right thing there is a three of pentacles in reverse so what is this three of pentacles spirit for person b what is this uh, three of pentacles in reverse So there's really no coming together it seems because again i have the same card of 8 of pentacles in reverse so did not put the work in there is no working together one person did really did not put in any work into this relationship but still holding on huh? this person is still holding on um wanting to come towards yeah or knowing that the love is lost now knowing that you know uh, no work has been put in knowing that um, things were um, un, uh, not in balance knowing there's been sneaky behavior but yet having the will to move forward and maybe return 
knowing the tower is falling okay the t- tower has fallen is falling knowing all that still holding on to this energy of death in reverse not wanting to shut this chapter down now death in reverse uh, aquarius is a card of uh, trying to hold on to the inevitable okay this is not an energy that can be stopped for too long uh, the longer this person is going to hold on person b is going to hold on to this the more painful it's going to become but this person is adamant person 2 is adamant that i am not going to let this relationship or whatever end even though i know that there is no possibility of a fresh start okay is going against odds to keep this control and how are, how are they planning to do it is by bringing finally bringing this uh, apology or a, maybe a small love offer or something and let's have a few cards uh, death in reverse spirit it's a death in reverse they've been dropped okay they know things have come to a halt there's no going back and forth anymore there is no movement actually somebody has already put this burden down and yet they are holding on they're holding on page of cups spirit now they want to now they want to give you know put this burden down they want to let go of all this conflict what has happened between the two of you and now they want to come back to you with an with an apology all right okay anything else spirit that you can advise us on on this uh, person too Ten of Cups in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and yet holding on for dear life. Just holding on for dear life, just not wanting to let go of this relationship, wanting to come out of this uh, the same position that person A was, the hang hang vans you know, uh, position. wanting to come out of being you know and uh, maybe you guys are not talking maybe you've been separated but this person really wants the stress and tension to go now and uh, wants to make a decision or may wants to wants you to make a decision i don't know who this person is aquarius uh, but let's see what's going on in your mutual energy here seven of cups in reverse so aquarius this is in your mutual energy so if you there was any confusion in the past okay if there was any confusion or there were any options everything is going to be dropped now okay uh, confusion is going to come to an end and if uh, anyone was considering anyone an option that's going to be also let down and this is in your mutual energy uh, because it seems that both of you don't really seem There, there is no happiness to be had with this person, absolutely not. Let's take a card anyway. Uh, seven of Cups in reverse, spirit. Seven of Cups in reverse. Oops. Okay. Holding on, holding on tight. Okay, either you are or they are or both of you are. uh you still holding on and not letting this wheel of fortune turn as it should wheel of fortune should always keep moving but because of some ego some pride of somebody this is just not being allowed this to move forward this could be this person because they had they had the wheel of fortune i mean sorry the death card in reverse they are still kind of holding on tight the empress in reverse now em- empress upright is a sign of prosperity it's a sign of hope it's a sign sign of growth and abundance empress in reverse is for it for mutual energy justice in reverse whatever is happening aquarius here this is not going to bring in any growth it's not going to allow you to grow not going this relationship is not meant to grow because there is no justice here which i think person one knows fully there has been nothing nothing balanced in this relationship But by holding on to this relationship it's only keeping both of you very very stuck one more card spirit both of you are thinking about it yes this is in your mutual energy both of you are trying to shed light 
to this. They are maybe giving their version of it and you're giving your version of it. But whatever said and done, you both realize that there is uh, no growth here and there is no justice here. Third card, King of Cups in reverse, just as I suspected. Now, this is a king, okay? This is a king who does not share his emotions at all. Is sneaky, is sneaky. I mean, this king upright is considered a king who, uh, you know, shows some emotion, keeps some to himself, is never really 100% uh, all there. But can you imagine this person in reverse? Very manipulative, emotionally manipulative. And maybe that's the way this person has been keeping the other person stuck in this devil, devil energy for so long. One more card, Spirit, for the king, uh, one card for the king of cups, please. One card for the King of Cups in Reverse Spirit. This King of Cups uh, doesn't like it that, you know, thing people are moving away and they're not under their control or whatever because they are still looking for this. They, this King of Cups wants to still come out of this uh, you know, isolation or whatever and still wants, wants the other person's love for some reason even though they have very little to show for it. This person is going to come and romance you again with false promises, love songs, hugs and kisses, oh baby I'm so sorry. But in actuality this person is the king of cups in reverse. I think uh, after all these games are played, you will both realize that uh, I think person A has already made up their mind, they're already on their way out and this will be talked about and I think both of you are going to move away from this very, very empty place. All these eight cups were totally empty and both of you are now going to move on and I have a strong feeling it's going to be by yourselves. Let's see in actuality how this person, the masculine, feels towards the feminine. Let's spy on them a little bit. Uh, spirit, how does uh, the masculine here feel uh, about the feminine here? Just as I thought. One more. Okay, thank you. King of Pentacles in reverse. Still being the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. They are still trying to control this tower from falling. They know the tower is falling. They are still doing underhand things because they know that without uh, you being in their life, there is no sunshine. Okay. They know that the love is already lost. There is two of cups in reverse. They 100% know that things have already ended in a, you know, in a certain way. They know the tower has fallen, yet they are still trying to be sneaky and not allowing this uh, tower to just crumble altogether. They still try to be sneaky about it. This is how they feel about the relationship. Let's see how the feminine feels about this relationship. How does the feminine feel, spirit? How does the feminine feel about uh, this relationship now? Uh, the feminine feels there is there there should be no going back. Okay, it's really a useless effort to make up with this person or to go back because uh, the memories that have been made are not that pleasant. Right? But uh, somehow the feminine is still kind of uh, in two minds, going back and forth in her mind. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, she knows that this uh, masculine is actually a very weak character. And uh, they are not, they, the, the star is in reverse. The, the feminine knows that this cannot be her wish fulfillment. This is how the feminine is feeling regarding this masculine. Which is great. I think that this uh, feminine has it figured out. 
and you'll have to hold your ground feminine because this person is not going to let you go that easy if you remember we you know the devil was there trying to keep you bound and let's see now your most likely outcome spirit what is the most likely outcome for aquarius and that was sick most likely outcome for aquarius and that person spirit oh king of swords okay mhm one more spirit most likely outcome it's uh it's not going to work aquarius don't try and make it work with this person this person is coming across to you as the king of swords right uh very harsh with this communication or whatever there there should be no uh reconciliation with this person this person in actuality is the knight of wands in reverse which came out for you earlier i think also this person is more trouble than anything else not a stable uh, energy and uh, is going to offer you is going to offer you the cup many times over but i think spirit uh, spirit wants to tell you that i think it's not a very good idea to accept it okay so just be very very mindful aquarius be careful if you are the feminine watching it and uh, if you are the masculine don't bother us this woman please just leave her be let's take an angel blessing card for my aquarius and see what the angels can bless us with any advice any blessing uh advice for aquarius spirit yes see emotions this person is going to emotionally manipulate you be very very mindful i mean i have seen many cases like this where the person comes and says i'll die without you i'll commit suicide without you but believe or believe it believe me or not i have met those people 10 years later and they hail and hearty so just don't get taken in by any kind of emotional manipulation that anyone can put you through yes uh just retreat and uh, let the let the universe be with you okay just take protection in your spirituality right now because the angels will help you out 100% there is new love coming into your life aquarius all your dreams all your prayers whatever you have done so far the spirit says just deal with these emotions for now and all your prayers are will be answered and you will have love in your life so never ever think that we are anywhere far away because heaven is watching over you every breath you take all the hardships you've been through heaven is with you and we are watching over this child look at this okay so that's all i have for you aquarius Please take care of yourself and uh, subscribe if you aren't a subscriber. Let's meet next week and let's see how this goes. All right, uh, love and light.